So we have some major issues that we really need to address and they are regarding social security and the benefits that you get. There's a lot of problems with social security and what many lawmakers are discussing at this point is making changes. Now, it's to no one's surprise that social security still has a lot of problems. And why would they still have problems when lawmakers have done absolutely nothing to change it? That's the real question. And again, many lawmakers have struggled to expand Social Security. And it was due to the possibility of Social Security becoming insolvent in the next 11 years. By 2033, the expectation is Social Security is going to run out of funds. Now, just keep in mind, you will still get some benefits, but the big issue is beneficiaries would only get about 75% of their benefits. That's a huge concern because what a lot of people have been worried about is, are we going to see a raise to social security benefits? And the expectation is no. Will we still see the cost of living adjustment? Yes. But is that going to uh, get you and propel you out of, uh, out of poverty? No, it's not. But here's what you need to keep in mind. You will still get 75% of your benefits. When, if, okay, I don't wanna say when, I wanna say if social security does become insolvent. But keep in mind that 75% is not going to help many people because they require 100% of their benefits, if not a little bit more, just to survive and live. Now, here's what this means. The first problem with social security at this point is that the promise that President Biden made when he was running for president was that he was going to provide social security beneficiaries with $200 per month. Now, this promise has pretty much just gone away. It died. Because President Biden said, we're gonna do $200 per month for two years, okay? Now, that, that was gonna be pretty big. That was gonna be, what, $2,400 year one? $2,400 in year two, so a $4,800 benefit? that would have been pretty substantial. He's already been in office for one year and we have nothing, no changes. N not even much of a discussion as to seeing benefits increase. And it's all because of the insolvency issues. And lawmakers, again, they blocked the idea of lowering the full retirement age. This was up for discussion. How about we lower the retirement age so that more people can get in start to collect social security benefits. Well, they shot that down. They blocked expanding Medicare because what Senator Bernie Sanders wanted was to include vision, dental, and hearing. All three of those were ultimately shot down. Vision and dental were shot down immediately. Hearing was at least being discussed and then it was gone because, well, that's just not enough. We need more. We need vision, dental, and hearing. The lawmaker said, no, that's just too expensive. And that would actually pretty much increase the date in which Social Security becomes insolvent. So they shut that down. Another thing that lawmakers shot down, almost every single idea to raise Social Security benefits to the current inflation rate, shot down. And why was that? Well, it's actually because of President Biden get this. And I've talked about this before on this channel. If you don't follow me, make sure you do that right now. Just go and click that subscribe button. And I'll keep you up to date on everything that's going on. But here's what happened. There was major discussions that, okay, let's, let's raise social security benefits to be current with our current inflation rate. Okay. Here's the problem. In order to do that, you have to tax people more and to tax people more. It meant that people making under $400,000 per year were actually to see a little bit more in taxes. Well, President Biden said nobody making less than $400,000 per year would see a penny more in taxes. So his promise there negates the promise to provide $200 per month to Social Security beneficiaries. So, more issues. Now, there's a lot of big ideas moving forward and some are actually pretty scary for millions of Americans because they have been planning for years or decades that as soon as they hit maybe 62 years old, they would take early retirement. 
or as soon as they hit 67 years old or 66, depending on your, your birthday, but they would take full retirement. And again, currently you can take uh, early benefits. You can take uh, Social Security early at age 62. Now, many people leave, many people are currently believing that they can work a little bit longer in order to get more benefits, which is great. But the scary part is that some are, or most people are planning to retire right about age 65. Right about age 65 to 67 years old, that's kind of when mo most people are gonna retire. Well, here's the big problem. And this is something that we, we saw an idea passed last week in the House of Representatives. Okay, because last week, the House approved a retirement bill that would actually push the age of required minimum distributions on some savings accounts to 75 years old. Now, the current age is 72. Now, here's why this is such a problem. And, and this change is actually going to be phased out by 2032. But just keep in mind that this is here. If the Senate passes it, this is here. Okay, this is going to happen. But what most people believe is going to happen is that we are going to see the, the, and again, when I say most people, I'm not talking about like, this is what they, they say should happen. I'm talking about what they say is they expect is going to happen is people expect the minimum age to actually increase, require the a raise to the minimum age to be in line with the life expectancy moving forward. Because if you keep this in mind, okay, what you need to understand is every year or every five, 10 years, whatever, the life expectancy here in the United States actually goes up because of modern medicine, right? Things like that. Well, in year 2000, 22 years ago, the life expectancy was 76.6 uh, years old. Back in 2010, this was 12 years ago, the life expectancy was 78.5, 78 and a half years old. And last year in 2021, the life expectancy was 78.99 years old. As of right now, it's expected to be 80 years old. Now, experts anticipate that we can live roughly 0.8% longer every single year. And it's changes like this that have many people wondering if taking retirement benefits too early is something that they should do or should they push it back? But keep what the House of Representatives did last week in mind because there's a lot of talks about pushing early retirement to 65 years old, pushing full retirement up to potentially 69 to 70 years old. Now, that's a huge concern for a lot of people because right now that would throw a wrench in people's uh, financial plans because if they have been saving and investing for 10, 20, 30, 40 plus years in order just to get to retirement age. If the age goes up, they have to continue to work or they live off of what they currently have saved and invested. That's a huge concern. That's a major concern. And this is why a lot of the problems that we currently are seeing with social security are going to cause changes. And those changes could be coming very soon. And if we keep in mind that the issues that we are currently experiencing with COVID, obviously the pandemic, but with the war over in, in Ukraine, we got supply chain shortages. Many people, there's a lot, there's like 11 million open jobs currently in the United States. Many people have not gone back to work because of COVID, because of just working in general, the conditions, the job. And that is causing a lot of issues because if people are not working, and again, our unemployment rate is only 3.6%, but a lot of people have left the workforce. Some are just now starting to come back. So over the past couple of years, what we have seen is social security is not collecting as many benefits as they should be, which is causing more and more issues. So again, I promise I will keep you up to date on what is going on, but as of right now, there's a lot of problems around social security there are many changes that are still being discussed. And if some of these changes happen, they look like they're going to hurt millions and millions of Americans, not help you. So as always, I will keep you updated on what we are currently seeing. But if you could and you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, 
go ahead, hit that like button, and also consider subscribing so you never miss an update. But again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.